Please press 5 to tell your wife you love her. Reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't, not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. So there was that end. So that was another ending. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. Then the feeling went away, and he felt sad again. Then it came back, and lingered for a minute or two. Now it's only half there, just a kind of, um, tingle. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, siree. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago.
Alright, so let me try taking that other path to the right and see what happens. There should be another ending. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. It is quite high. Lots of boxes. I wish I could read these. Fifth Annual Subcommittee Meeting of Internal Revenue Analysis for Committees of the Royal Revenue Discussions Club. No girls. The committee hereby proposes the following. One, that all internal revenue be reviewed exclusively by internal members, royally appointed subcommittees. Two, that human beings accepting the members of the fifth annual subcommittee meeting of internal revenue analysis for committees of the Royal Revenue Discussion Club smell. Three, dude, I'm so wasted right now. Goodbye, the following members approve this statement. Danger, danger everywhere. This is a new area, I haven't been here yet. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Did he though? I suppose I'll listen this time. See where that leads me. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Yes, I'm back to Foxhound, thank you. Alright, so there's that. There's this. So this is just going to be an infinitely looped in corridor. It's just going to keep looping. So I wonder if this is going to bring me back to the phone. It probably is. What if I go backwards? It's going to be the same thing. do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? 
Right in this moment, with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> Happiness. So do I go to the door, or do I fall off? It's my do. What's a do? What's a do? I'm gonna fall off. I can't. It's an invisible wall. How about that? And I got green lights. That's changing. Will the pattern change again? I'm not sure if it will. Just curious to see if there'll be another pattern. Looks like these are all going away. Seems to go oh, red. Okay. Now, see, this is what fascinates me about games. So, like, how many. Oh, wow, it's getting big. How many times will this go through different animations or possibilities? like enveloping everything now. Very trippy, huh? And this is just a hallway. That makes no sense, right? Because it's just a box here. But somehow the hallway loops to the left. It's an impossibility. In fact, it's taller than it should be. It's intriguing, is it not? Is there another design that's going to come out? Doesn't look like it. Wait, no, it's just stars. Now it's looping, okay. It's looping back to what it was before. So once this is done, it should go to the green lights. If it goes to the green lights, that means that it officially has looped over. Patient man, I would wait. Because I'm just willing to see how far they take this until the programming loops over again.
so in this case it looks like it may not move. It would have transitioned to another thing by now, but it has not. So I think it's going to be going on indefinitely. Okay. So I guess I have to go through the door. No, wait. Where are you going? Right. Where were we? Aha. Uh -huh. So this won't change. So let me just go through now and see what's going on. Santa, what's going on? You love this game? This is actually the very first time I'm playing it. Um, I'm going through the loops and seeing what I can find. So I'm here now, my happy place. But I want to go through here and see where that leads me. All right. So we're back to the office space. Things are looking pretty decrepit. Oh, so this is going to bring me back oh, no. to this. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Mm -hmm. All right, so this stairs, does it take me back to the, the boss's office from the beginning, or...? Leo the P.O., what's going on, man? What happens if I go back here now? Is it gone? Nope, it's still here. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there, hmm? Just, just stay here. He wants me to stay. There's nothing I can do. I can't kill myself because there's invisible walls that block me from doing so. So I have to go. There's nothing else I can do. No! What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. How are you, man? Been a hot minute since I last cast your stream. I think it was Hotline Miami 2. Yeah, I ended up beating that finally. Uh, what did I play after that? I did... Uh, Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures. I did... Uh, Dark Void Zero. Dark Void. And now I'm on to this, Stanley Parable. Leo, just watched the newest trailer for the new Stanley Parable game. So I'm pretty sure it's it's this game. They just added some extra, uh, I guess, endings and locations. So this is the very first time I'm playing this, so this is all brand new to me. Luckily, nobody spoiled the game, so this is a... Uh, I'm, I'm discovering it all for the first time, so it's pretty cool. Are you... You are going to stay here, aren't you? Right, should I stay here, or should I explore? What do you, what do you guys think? But yeah, so this game is, uh, so... I heard about this game, I never played it. It's very similar to the Silent Hill game, P.T. Obviously not scary, but... The fact you're going through these loops, and each loop subsequently brings about new new locations, new experiences, new endings. It's very interesting. It's like a read your own, make your own adventure book type thing. Very intriguing. Oh cool, wish I could play the game for the first time again. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I luckily nobody spoiled this to me. Uh, if, if they had spoiled it, it would have sucked. So this is, yeah, it's really cool. The fact that I'm going through all these branching paths and finding something new, and the fact that they put so many damn lines with the narrator, it's really intriguing. So let's go up the stairs here. You heard me before, didn't you? You will die! What about this isn't getting through to you? 
Now see, the, the thing I like is if I go back, it'll say another line, so I'm just trying to like test the limits of how far it'll go. Alright, so he won't say anything this time. So I can go safely this time. You'll probably get some cool dialogue if you stay there. Uh, well, I was. I, I kept going back and forth, and he kept telling me to, you know, to stay there. But I mean, I stayed there for a good while, to like four minutes. So I don't know how long I could stay. <laughs> but uh, then go up the stairs, see what happens. He says, "I will die." Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Ooh, I get to make a leap of faith. Now, see, he said that. But what if I make him happy by going back to the happy place? I got an achievement. I got cold feet. So we go back to the happy place. Nothing. All right. Well, it was worth a try. Yeah, I try to squeeze as much dialogue as I can. It's always, I don't know. It always feels pretty cool to see how far uh, the devs go with all the lines they put in. So, all right. So we're gonna go up here. Am I going to make a leap of faith? No! Oh, thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? Hmm. So I didn't die. Well, that means I can just do it again, right? No. No, no, what are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? So what do I do? Do I jump off again? Or do I go back to the happy place? Um, no, it's not my first ending. I've, I've had a few. Um, this is the first time that in the warehouse lift, I took the hallway to the right. So this is my first time doing that. So in the warehouse, I, I fell off the cargo lift, I died. I answered the phone and got the apartment ending, and then I unplugged the phone and got the ending for that. So, that was a good thing. Stanley has needs of anti-gravity titanium. Yeah, pretty much like a portal, right? Maybe go back to the happy place. Uh, if you, I mean, that's one ending, right? So... That's the question. So let me comply with him and make him happy. We'll, we'll, we'll take the red door. Because the red door is the one I took. The happy place is just waiting for me. Rude awakening or blissful ignorance, right? Yeah, I don't know. So let's see what he, what he says. There. See? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Stop moving. Remain completely still. So what happens? So I'm not moving. I'm not sure if anything will happen. If something would have happened, it would have happened by now. So I guess I need to jump off again. Stanley, go back. 
There's nothing good that can come from this. Jump off again, see what happens, huh? Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? People FaceTime. Such good voice. Yeah, I mean, the, the guy that they got is. He's really damn good. Uh, here we go. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Alright, let, let's go. Yes, perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? I don't know what you guys think. Is, is this a real happy place? Is it heaven? Even though I got the heaven ending, I got that before. It did sound like it hurt, yeah. Alright, so... Nothing's happening. No, perhaps not. Would have been interesting oh if is this really how much you dislike my game that you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it you were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy am i reading the situation correctly uh, so he said but what if i go back to the happy place where they make him happy again Yeah, he's not programmed to say anything here. So I do need to jump off. Narrator's all about the eternal LSD trip. Yeah, right? It is pretty happy, but in a creepy way, though, wouldn't you say? I mean, my happy place isn't dark. It should be sunshine and rainbows, right? All right, well, let's jump off and see what happens. Third time's a charm, they say, right? Here we go. Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Ooh, he sounds defeated. I like how you approach this. Yeah, so... I don't know. So, like, it's, uh... I like this. Okay, so the, the whole point of this game, from what I'm getting, is... This game is... giving you the illusion of choice, right? Which is a trope in games. Like, you choose to do one thing which advances the plot along, or you choose another option which maybe is like a side quest or whatever. This game is kind of a parody of that. It's it's giving you the, the choices, the, the left door, right door. Left door is the intended route, but it's the least fulfilling route because the right door is the one that gives you all the extra odds and ends that make it much more compelling than if you were to just take the straight path. Um, but I like how this game challenges that because by going against the grain, quote unquote, you're still following what was intended because the developers took that into account and they have all these alternate paths and endings you can take. So um, it's really creative on, on their part to, uh, especially with my play style. Usually when I play games, I, I like to test the boundaries of uh, developers, be it, you know, voice lines or 
you know, how long do you go in a city before you start seeing repeated textures and things like that? Um, so I'm, I'm just very curious by nature in that regard. So like this game is like really itching that, uh, satisfying that itch. So it's, it's intriguing to me. So after staring into the eternal dark space triggers something in me akin to staring into deep water. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and see if that makes choose them up a little bit. Do you actually want to stay alive, or are you just teasing me? See, so like I appreciate that that they have voice lines for that, for somebody like me who will just dick around back and forth, and I don't know, like the the person average person playing this game probably doesn't do that, so they're kind of missing out on the experience, wouldn't you say? I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. Oh man, he sounds really defeated. See, so anyway, yeah, you summarized it pretty accurately. Yeah, so it's like a choose your own adventure book, right? So you, that first chapter where it tells you, hey, if you choose this, go to page 89. Or if you choose this, go to page 47. By like going to page 89, you're pretty much skipping the bulk of the story and you're just getting to the end. Which some people like. I mean, some people when they play games, they like to beat them as fast as possible. Me, I'm not like that. When I play games, I like to explore every little nook and cranny and get the most out of it. Because to me, I'm getting my money's worth. So like in this case, in this game, with all these like alternate voice lines and, and uh, branching paths, to me, that's great. I'm getting so much value out of something that if you were to just follow what the narrator tells you, you'd finish the game in five minutes. And then you'd be like, oh, well, that was a waste of time. So, I don't know. It really, like I said, scratches that itch. All right, so he hasn't said anything yet. He's still very defeated. But what about the jumping? Uh, it seems I won't die from it. All adventures have to come to an end, that's true. The other game made by the devs, it's a bit different tone, but it's still really good. Oh, well, what's, uh, what's the other game called? I agree with Leo, I actually like the beginner's guide even more, although the Stanley Parable is funny. Now, uh, maybe you guys can enlighten me. There's a demo for Stanley Parable. Um, is the demo just the first part of the game, or is it something entirely different? Because if it's something entirely different, I'll, I'll try the demo, too. Because if it's extra content, I'm all for it. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Oh, wow, I finally died. All right, I'm I'm back in, back in La La Land. But will he still sound defeated when I walk through this hallway? A soft wind blew outside, and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. <laughs> Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. So there was a one time where I got a phone call here. It only happened once. I went through the window here. I got that ending. I got the adventure line ending. I got the uh, apartment ending. Keep flipping these computers off. It doesn't seem to do anything. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. F -f 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 so that was a game skip a little bit. All right. So I'm pretty sure I've exhausted all the options with the left entrance. Because so I went through the escape route. I went through the museum. Um, I got the bomb ending. I shut off the machine. Got that ending. I stepped out into the world. What am I missing with the right here?
Yeah, so I did, uh, Santa. I noticed after I did the adventure line ending, I looked through a few windows and I did see the adventure line creeping through, so that was pretty cool. Um, okay, so you know what? I can do this again, but instead of the red door, I go to the blue door. See what happens. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, giddy in a way he had never known before. Was it this room? A connection between the two? Could a man love a room? Oh, I sure I love mean, that room. Truly, truly, deeply, madly, love. Indeed. So yes, Anna. Yeah, the the attention yes, to detail in this game is great. Really, really worth it being here in the room. Right, so he's just repeating the, the line. From so before. utterly kept, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. So I've gone left. I went down the shaft, but I never went straight. I'm assuming going straight brings me back to the left door, because that's the meeting room on the left. So I haven't done that yet, though. So I don't know if things change, but. I can always try that path as well. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. All right, here we go. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. So the, um, the computer thing uh, that you're talking about there, uh, Leo, was that the one with the computers that say awaiting input and it has the purple blocks? With each input, with each loop, you, you click the, the machine that has it. I did do that, and that brought me to heaven. The, uh, the white, white room with all the spinning buttons and the hallelujah song. So I got that. Unless you mean something else. Santa Destro uh, I love the evil Amazon HQ vibe I get from this place. Yeah, I guess it's kind of uh, relevant now. Now right? listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Well, see, I took the red door before, and I'm going to take the blue door. See where the hell leads me. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. No, this is a different room now. Okay, so it looped me. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, so the blue door is behind me. I'm going to the blue. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Is that because I looked back and saw the blue door? Is that why you're giving a thumbs up? I just, I always like to observe. You never know, especially in this game. You never know what may be different. Okay. It's a big, uh, big room. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed textures. to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. 
Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Huh. Okay. So we got office space ceiling light. We got these unfinished textures, which look like source engine stuff. Alright. So red, left, right, or third. Let's see now, Is if I go to the left, will it go to the original program route? Or will this be something different entirely? See that... The curiosity would pique me so much. I mean, obviously, yes, there's this, you know, rough-looking new door, but, uh, shit. I don't know what to do. Follow along the AC alternate iteration 14. Wall. Please rate your experience. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now... Tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Please rate your... Well, rate it on a scale of what, though? One being bad? Five being good? Or is it the other way around? See, I don't know. What do I do? Do I do one, three, or five? It probably doesn't matter, but we're going to go with one. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Where am I? 21.3 players skip the intro sequence. Only the words 3% of players chose the blue door. 98.9 .9 players are more... Oh, I didn't read the last part. How long does it take you to get to the correct door? Compete against others to improve your Stanley Parable career. I'm 93.28. I'm last place. Last place. Friends list empty. 98.9 .9 players... Is more attractive than Stanley. They'd rather subjectively ranked. This is you. Ooh. That's a, uh, that's a jab. Okay. wonder if these are real names, though. I mean, that's, it has to be. Uh, I just saw a nightmare from Soul Calibur, so Mussolini. <laughs> Alright. Let's go through and see. Someone is salty, yeah, because I'm breaking his uh his program nature. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. 
It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure oh, to keep notes on your experience. <laughs> okay. Has a pretty high res picture of a baby. There actually is an ending if you play for four hours. Are you shitting me? Oh, yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Holy crap. I will what Can't get that baby hurt. Can't get him hot. Alright, well, four hours is the only requirement. I might as well let him burn, right? To advance this. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, we can all agree we can let the baby burn, right? Alright, time to let the baby burn. I am. It's it's hard. I don't want the little baby to burn. There's an internal conflict. It sucks. I wonder what baby that is, that stock photo. I wonder what that baby thinks now that he's in a game where he's fed to a fire. Here we go, boys. All right, I'm about to let him go. He's about to be fed to the flames. There it is. Oh. Oh, man. He started changing his pitch, man. That was rough. And I was so close, right, Santa? Oh, 
no, 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 can't do it. Bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Oh boy. Well, Holy Stan, shit, it's Minecraft. At Jesus last, the Christ. one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. This is literally the longest I've watched a live stream on YouTube. You're totally underrated, dude. <laughs> well, thank you, Leo. I, I, I honestly don't do this for views or anything. It's just... When I play on computer, it's just a click to do the stream, and why not? I mean, if it's someone's doing homework or something, just bored under their ass and just want some ambiance while they're pissing around, then why not, right? All right, too bad my schedule is too busy to be here more often. Hey, what's up, River? So I'm in Minecraft no, now. here, and then... crouch. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Oh, this mansion, I mean, I... Am I worthy to even go in? I, I don't even know. To be to uh, full transparency, I'm not a fan of Minecraft, uh, but <laughs> it is pretty cool that they just threw that in here. Just totally random, All right? Let's go in. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if. Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Well, they open up a path for me. Oh, God, it's the Minecraft theme song. Jesus Christ. Ugh. All right, so I only know this because I used to work at a land center and... With the kids, I would say Minecraft is a huge hit, so I would hear this damn theme song all the time. It's enough to drive you wild. Okay, so I gotta go down. Uncanny the game just so weird. Yeah, right? Like weird in, in like a, do I just exit it? Or do I just keep going along and see how deep that rabbit hole goes, right? It's like, just for curious people such as myself, this is like the ultimate, uh, like addiction. It's, it's, <laughs> it's quite amazing. All right, so I'm going deep. more Minecraft music. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Do I get the torch? Hmm. 
There's a torch. Oh, that's something. Right. Uh, but I want to go over there because that's an alternate path. So bad I can't jump. Curiosity killed the cat. Yeah, no, that's absolutely true. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Oh, snap. Was that an enemy? Crap. This is Portal. Oh. <laughs> yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. The shell's chamber. open here. Okay. Portal. So I wonder how they got around to using all these. I mean, yes, this game, from what I recall, Stanley Parable is a Half-Life 2 mod at the time. I never did play it in that iteration, though. Oh! It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Got my little companion cube. Genius. Really wonder if they got any trouble using all these assets. Uh, I mean, it can't be, because, I mean, if this is a commercially made game, then, you know, whatever rights and clearances they got. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games, and I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. I think I ended that prematurely. Whoops. I don't know if that... I, I kind of cut him off. <laughs> oh, crap. All right. Did I do something bad, guys? I was just curious to see where the elevator went, but... Damn. I mean, obviously, I didn't clip through the floor or anything, so... Doesn't look like I have. Filing cabinets, I got the old art posters. I see, it doesn't look like there's an invisible wall, so I could fall off and just die. Beta grounds, didn't miss too much, okay. All right. That's a dead end. It's pretty much all seem to be dead ends here. I 
Please rate your experience. The Stanley Alpha test. Beta. Work in progress. So I guess I need to fall. And just advance, I think. That's what... Leo, oh, thank you so much for stopping by, dude. Uh, have a good one. It was good, uh, good catching you, man. I mean, I don't stream often, but if you uh, want to just tag along, uh, just subscribe to my channel and you'll get a notification when I do. I have no set schedule for it. It's just when it happens. All right, well, let me fall. hallway so this is like an old school half-life one looking version of the office so i'm gonna have to find 427 right This is the hallway, this is the office. This is the left path. That was the right, so this is an old low res version of the original path, so I need to find my way back to my office. 423M, there we go. Okay. We have some different screens here. It's going to lead me back to my cubicle. There we are, 427. Right where I'm supposed to be. found it, but nothing happened. Hmm. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. I can wait too. This hallway with the green carpet is actually from the demo. Oh, really? Okay. So is this going to loop me back? Yep. 
Okay. So what ending am I missing here? How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. And I would like to get a phone call just to hear what it is. Uh, what other paths can I take here? Well, I can take the uh, the red door. When it was telling me to take the red door, I can do that. Let's see if that changes anything. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Let's see if that changes anything. The lounge was grand, majestic. Perhaps too majestic. Like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger version of this exact room. It all made Stanley uncomfortable, and he started to bleed a little. This made him smile. At last, proof that he was human. And he'll probably loop back to the Yes. Same really, really worth it being here in the room. Okay. The room, but eager to get back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. So see Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Back. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha! Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay. So here is where I take the red door and see where that takes me. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the so way you're doing right now. Here. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. Okay, so this just brings me back to the happy place. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I've... No. Wait, where are you going? Okay, so it's this end. Oh no, stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. So we'll loop, because I already did that. What am I missing here? So what endings are the warehouse? There's the phone. There's the video game one.
can see. Uh, so is there a difference when it was doing the rating one through five by pressing the two, three, four, five? Does that change things? Stanley stood for a long time in one spot. It's part of a game. He likes to see how long he can go without dying. So far, he's doing excellent. And if he just stays right where he is, I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. Let's observe the genius at work. So what other ending am I missing here? I think I may have all the endings. I'm not sure. I think I got them all. Pretty sure nothing will change depending on the rating. Okay. So let me just pull up the wiki real quick because. I think, I mean, I think I've done it all. I see heaven, I got heaven, I got whiteboard, I got... Disco. So the only ending would be just the one with the babies. But I'm not playing that for four hours. Let's see, there's the freedom ending, which is the left door. I got that. The explosion ending. 
power, yeah, Mariella, I got that. Got the museum. Confusion ending, uh, yep, at the adventure line. The phone ending, I got that. Powerful ending, I got that. Game's ending, yep, got that. Zending, uh, yes, got that. Cold feet, got that. Escape path, yep, got that. Yep, got that. Heaven, got that. So apparently there's a serious ending, but I need to type something in the console. So that I need to restart the game. Whiteboard ending, got that. Broom closet ending. Oh, got that. Okay, looks like I got all the endings. At least feasibly, like without playing for an insane amount of hours. Um, okay. So. Congrats, and yeah. I'm going to have to YouTube the baby one, because that is too ridiculous for four hours. The only thing would be just to see Stanley that Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. Uh, he never functioned well by himself, and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. So you know what? I'll probably, uh, Santa, no matter probably how hard download looked, the demo and see how that goes. Maybe it's something different, so I'll probably give that a whirl. So let me go ahead and download that. If you're still around, if you want to hop on by and check it out. But uh, if not, Santa, it was good talking to you, dude. Thank you for stopping by again. And uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get the demo and see what goes on there. Thank you for watching, man.